10 entry-level jobs for math and economics majors. You're probably wondering what kind of employment you're prepared for as you prepare to graduate with a degree in mathematics and economics, or even as you choose your major. You're probably aware that you may work in investment banking or management consulting, or go to graduate school to pursue a career as a researcher. An economics and math degree, on the other hand, prepares you for a lot more. This is the 10 entry-level jobs for math and economics majors. We'll help you figure out which job you should consider. But before going on with our video, hit that subscribe button to watch more videos like this one. Now, let's get going. Number 10. Market Research Analyst Market research analysts use their understanding of industry trends to predict how products or services will perform in different economic climates. They're taught how to conduct research as well as acquire and evaluate data, much like economics majors. They must be able to measure outcomes and communicate this data to clients. Many of the abilities developed by economic students, such as the use of presentation software and graphical representation, as well as writing and statistical skills are applied by these analysts. They must be able to evaluate items and services critically and solve difficulties. In May 2019, the Bureau of Labor Statistics BLS, projected that the typical annual income for a market research analyst was $63,790. The poorest 10% of earners made less than $34,350, while the top 10% made more than $122,630. Number 9. Data Analyst Finance, consulting, manufacturing, pharmaceuticals, government, and education all have a significant demand for data analysts. Data analysts must have the ability to pay attention to detail, communicate well, and be well organized they must be able to give insight and analysis through good visual, written, and vocal communication in addition to understanding the facts. You can work in a variety of sectors as a data analyst, including business intelligence, data assurance, data quality, finance, higher education, marketing, and sales. Salary for entry-level positions is between 23,000 pounds to 25,000 pounds. Graduate programs in data analysis and business intelligence at larger organizations often pay 25,000 to 30,000 pounds as a starting wage. Salary ranges from 30,000 to 35,000 pounds with a few years of experience. Experienced high-level and consulting positions may pay up to 60,000 pounds. Number eight, economic consultant. Economic consultants conduct analyses on economic situations using analytical and research abilities. They research industry trends in order to assist businesses in improving their performance. They might work for a number of companies in a variety of areas such as business, finance, healthcare, education, government, and so on. Economic consultants can also testify in court as expert witnesses to evaluate economic losses, investigate intellectual property and antitrust crimes, and resolve regulatory infractions. In terms of pay, Payscale reports that an economic consultant's average yearly income is $76,487. The poorest 10% make up to $59,000 per year, while the top 10% earn at least $119,000 per year. Number 7. Research Scientists – Math You can work as a research mathematician in a number of fields, but you'll most likely be providing profound and abstract theorems, constructing mathematical representations, models, to explain or forecast real-world occurrences, and applying mathematical principles to discover trends in data sets. If you work in applied research, you may be helping to design a commercial product or gathering information on business trends. You can do research in a wide range of pure and practical mathematics topics such as algebra, analysis, combinatronics, differential equations, and dynamic systems. Geometry and topology in fluid mechanics, numerical analysis of mathematical biology, if you're completing a PhD and have been given a studentship, it will almost always come with a tax-free stipend to assist paying living expenses. This is presently £15,285. However, some may be greater if industry funding is available or if you live in London. Number 6. External Auditor 
You'll analyze financial records and other data as an external auditor to provide firms, their investors, and market regulators a clear picture of how they're doing. You'll also offer improvement suggestions. Although you'll be working as a certified accountant, your auditing job will go beyond financial audits since you'll be assisting clients in identifying and managing risks in all aspects of their organization. The role of an external auditor is similar to, but distinct from, that of an internal auditor, chartered accountant, or management consultant. External audit is sometimes referred to or grouped with assurance services. The role of an external auditor is similar, but distinct from, that of an internal auditor, chartered accountant, or management consultant. A graduate trainee's average pay is the range of 28,000 pounds. You might earn between 32,000 pounds and 45,000 pounds, once you've completed your training and progressed into more senior positions. Number five, policy analyst. If you want to use your economics degree to work for the government, becoming a policy analyst is a fantastic choice to explore. To assess or anticipate results, policy analysts investigate, evaluate, and analyze laws, policies, and other government initiatives. With your research, you might be able to assist shaping future legislation, Policy analysts who majored in economics may apply much of the skills they gained in school to work at all levels of government, lobbying companies, NGOs, think tanks, and a variety of other public policy groups. With merely a bachelor's degree in economics, you can probably obtain an entry-level position or a policy analyst fellowship, but as your career progresses, you should be prepared to earn an additional degree depending on the specialty you want to pursue. Number four, credit analyst. Credit analysts perform microeconomic studies of potential clients to determine the risks associated with lending money to them. They consider economic trends as well as variables affecting the area, industry, and rivals of potential clients. Credit analysts provide papers summarizing their results and recommending interest rates based on the risk profiles of their customers. When it comes to compensation, Credit analysts make a median annual income of $73,650 in May 2019, according to the BLS. The poorest 10% of earners made less than $43,430, while the top 10% made more than $145,840. Number 3. Management Consultants Management consultants work for consulting companies and visit a variety of clients' organizations to assess their procedures and performance and offer recommendations to help them solve problems or improve efficiency. A management consulting firm, for example, may be hired to simplify operations or provide budget-cutting ideas. Consultants acquire information on an organization's finances and other statistics, as well as interacting with workers or customers to do this sort of job. They then assess and analyze the data to arrive at findings and suggestions that they share with their clients. Because of their research, communication, analytical, and problem-solving abilities, economics majors are well-suited for all of these phases. Outside management consultants are hired by businesses of different sizes and sectors, so your versatility will help you come up to speed fast when you switch projects and customers. For entry-level personnel, typically associate consultants, many companies have highly organized recruitment processes that begin on college campuses. Number two, insurance underwriter. Insurance underwriters examine and analyze all of the elements that go into providing insurance for a business, property, car, person, or other entity in order to determine whether or not the firm for which they work should offer insurance, how much it should cost, and on what conditions. Property insurance underwriters and others in related industries may go out and check and research properties in person. As an economic student, you may apply your analytical and critical thinking abilities to assess the risks and costs of insuring a specific firm, as well as your business and market knowledge to correctly value insurance policies. Insurance underwriters must be certified as they advance in their careers, although entry-level positions may typically be filled with only a bachelor's degree. Number one, compensation and benefits manager. Compensation and benefits managers design, track, and supervise the execution of a company's pay and benefit programs. They also keep an eye on market circumstances and keep track of salaries and perks, both inside and outside the firm, to ensure that pay is fair, competitive, and compliant with any requirements. 
Compensation and benefits managers, particularly at big organizations, may specialize in either benefits or pay, or even a specialized employee program like health insurance. Economics degrees are well suited for this profession since it requires someone who can observe the wider market and economic developments. They'll also utilize their problem solving and analysis abilities to keep track of wages and select the best benefits packages, as well as their communication skills to engage with benefit suppliers and explain benefits and compensation to employees. If you've taken any human resources classes, you'll be a great fit for these jobs. Compensation and benefits managers frequently begin their careers in more generalist human resources positions like HR assistant or something similar. With that, we would like to conclude, but we would love to know what you would like to see next. Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. Also, hit the bell icon button so that you'll get a notification whenever we post a new video.